What's up, bro? In this video, we're going to talk about the top dating myths debunked. Okay, so let's get into them. What are some of the top dating myths? These myths are going to stop you from getting the woman that you want. Okay, they're getting in your head. Society is telling you certain things. It's making yourself believe certain things and it's just flat out wrong. Why is this happening? Because society says to you, you're not good enough right now. You need to buy these products to get girls. You need to do this to get women. You need to do that to get women. Or maybe your friends are telling you, you need to do this to get women. You need to do that. It's just wrong. It's not true. And right now we're going to debunk all these myths. Number one, you need money to get the girls that you want. No, it's not true. Okay, let me tell you something. I worked with hundreds and thousands of guys that literally they have all the money that they that they could ever dream of okay super super high-end wealthy wealthy powerful individuals okay they have all the money but they cannot get a girl why is that happening because women are not necessarily attracted to pieces of paper or the amount of money in your bank account they are attracted to status you can convey status through other ways okay not necessarily just through how much money you have. Okay, very, very important. Again, I was a student. Um, I didn't always have money, okay? But I never had an issue when I, when I got good at all this stuff with getting girls. Why? Because it's your personality that's coming through. It's your character traits that are coming through. Look, if you're homeless, if you're broke, if, you have, if you're literally living on the street, of course, I, I don't want you to take things in extremes. Of course that matters, but for 99.9999% of you, that's not the issue, okay? So women are not attracted to your money. The next myth, car. If you're not driving a Ferrari or Lamborghini, you're not going to get the girls you want, okay? That's, that's pathetic. It's, it's bullshit. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. You can't take your Lamborghini into the nightclub where you meet women. You can't take the Lamborghini into the shopping center where you meet a girl, okay? So... Look, these things, yes, maybe it helps 1%, 2%, whatever it is, but it's not the thing that really moves the needle, so to speak. It's, it's not the main thing that matters, okay? I'm, trust me, I'm telling you that there's been countless guys that have Ferraris that cannot get a girl, okay? Or the only woman you get is gold diggers and you can't get the girls that you actually want because they're not... The quality woman also wants a guy that has a personality, that has certain character traits. That's... Now again, you can be an amazing guy that also has a Ferrari. Okay, great. You can be an amazing guy that also has lots of money. Great, that's awesome. But you can't get around. You can't be a loser that has a lot of money and a loser with a nice car. Woman won't be attracted to that guy. And if you do get the type of woman, it's not the type of woman that you want anyway. Okay? House. Same thing applies here. The girl's only seeing your house once she knows you anyway. So what's the difference? Now look, if you're staying with 500 roommates in one room and all of you are sleeping on the floor, yes, that matters. Okay? But we're not talking about those extremes. As long as you have a place to live. Okay? And look, if you're staying with family at this point in your, in your life, that's okay. Whatever. I'm talking about the average. The average, if you have a place to stay, that's reasonably fine, that's reasonably okay. Yes, you always want to improve, just like you want to improve all of these things. You want to always get more money, you want to get a nicer car, you want to get a nicer house, but don't use it as an excuse that you can't get the girls that you want. Okay, because you're not taking your house when you meet her. Okay, it's your personality that's coming through. Okay, it's your game, it's your skill set. Six pack. I'll tell you a little story. This was many, many years ago. Maybe it was like six years ago, um, even seven years ago or so. I was on the, the beach, okay, with one of my friends. This guy was in absolutely perfect shape. He was like really, really in good shape. And I was super, super skinny. If anything, I actually looked at that time, seven years ago, I actually looked very sick, okay. It wasn't, it wasn't a good period. I was uh, changing my diet, doing all this weird stuff. And around six, seven years ago, I didn't really look that good. Okay. <laughs> now, again, it's not like I've, I'm in perfect shape now, but I looked sickly back then, six, seven years ago. 
we were, we were walking on the beach and basically he was trying to speak to girls i was speaking to girls and it was just obvious that i was getting better results than him okay and he even said to me it it actually made him a little bit angry at me he actually got a little bit angry why because it's shoved in his reality it's like i'm being on this rat race this loop i've got the body i'm in better shape than you like a hundred times better what is going on okay personality game skill set it shines through now look that's that's an extreme example i do want you to understand that look if you look good it helps if you're fashionable it helps but it's not the reason why you're not getting the girls that you want okay you're not always walking around without your shirt on you know club you're in a grocery store you're in the, on the street so you're just going to take your clothes off so the girl can see your six pack no okay so using it as i can't get girls because i don't have a six pack it's an excuse and you'll get that six pack and you still won't have the personality the game the character traits the person anything the behaviors to get the woman that you want okay it's an add-on it's not the only thing that matters the coolest friends if you don't have the coolest friends and you're not going to the coolest places or whatever you're not going to you just can't meet women no that's not true okay you don't need to i need to be connected to meet the right woman i need to if i'm not connected woman won't want me no that's bullshit you can go out right now to a shopping center to a nightclub and there you meet amazing women okay you don't have to have your friends or be connected or know someone else to be able to feel worthy of meeting that girl no okay you don't need that let's go here just be yourself okay every nice girl will say this to you your mom or your granny will say this to you just be yourself and everyone will love you okay no that's not true because you've been being yourself for 30 years or 35 years or 40 years or 50 years however old you are you've been using the strategy just being yourself it's not about being yourself it's about changing yourself into the best version of who you are and that and then you can be yourself once you are the best version of you don't be yourself right now because who you are is not getting the woman that you want who you are is not getting the success that you want so if you adopt the strategy that you've actually been adopting you've been doing it you've been being yourself forever it's not working you need to be the best version of yourself and that's the version that's improved on all these skill sets the character traits the personality just be confident and then you'll get girls again what does that even mean just be confident when i started out i remember i heard this advice just be confident bro that's what some of my friends would say just be confident be confident and you can get her no what is it what does that mean like I, I used to think to myself okay well how do i do that what do i say what do i say next what should i be thinking what if she says this how do i even speak to her what what needs to happen what should i even do what should i think about and my friend would just say be confident it doesn't mean anything being telling someone to just be confident if they already have competency then it makes sense then it's like oh you're right of course what am i thinking of be confident but if they don't know what to do they need competency not necessarily just confidence you can have all the confidence you want if i tell you go up and play and um, play a beethoven song on the piano you've never ever played before go and play a song you can be confident you're never going to be able to do it well never no matter how confident you are you can be a 10 out of 10 confident 10 out of 10 on the confidence scale and if i tell you go and play a beethoven song even though you've never ever played before okay or if i say to you let's take a sport or even a fitness thing if it's skipping okay i've been getting into skipping if you've never ever skipped before and i tell you just be confident and you say to yourself okay i feel confident i'm going to go and just skip and do all the skipping tricks and just crush it no it's not about your confidence levels it's about your competency your skill set okay so you need to understand that don't just listen to this advice of just be confident the same thing just be natural be natural when you speak to girls just just kind of be natural it's kind of similar to be yourself just be natural be in the flow yeah, what do those terms mean be natural okay you don't know what it's like to get the woman that you want so you can't be natural okay it doesn't make sense there's no tangible advice here 
just heal your traumas. If you heal your traumas, you're going to get the girls that you want. No, you'll keep working on healing your traumas and you still won't get the girls that you want. Okay, the reason you're not getting the woman you want is not because you have or don't have a trauma. Okay, and look, I'm very big on healing traumas, on meditation, on spirituality, very, very big. Okay, I put a lot of focus on that area. But let me tell you something. If you heal your traumas, but you don't know what to do and what to say to girls and how to approach them and how to attract them and how to create sexual tension and how to escalate and how to be dominant and how to progress interactions. If you think that just healing a trauma is instantly going to switch everything on in your brain and you're just going to do that stuff. No. Let me ask you this. If you healed your traumas, would you instantly be able to be good at football? No because you still need to learn how to play. Will it potentially help your mindset when you're playing football to heal your traumas? Yes. Yes, it will. So will making more money. So will getting a house. So will getting a six pack. It will help your confidence levels. But overall, the 90% or the 80% is the 80-20. The 80% is you have to have game, personality, character traits, the qualities. You have to learn how to do everything. You're born with charisma. You're either born with it or you're not. If you you either born good with women or you're just not. No, that's not true. You can learn and anyone can learn this. Whether you're short, thin, tall, fat, Indian, black, white, Asian, from America, Africa, Europe, wh wherever it is. It doesn't matter. You can learn. This is a learnable skill. And I'm telling you this because that was me. I was someone that had a phobia of women. Okay, a direct phobia. Okay, running, physically running away from them, physically hiding in the bathroom. Okay, hiding in bathrooms, not just once, like most, <laughs> most of my life in the first 20 years or so. Okay, especially from like, I don't know, 15 to, to 21 or so, was in bathrooms. I was hiding. I spent many, many hours every day in bathrooms, not an exaggeration. Okay, and it's not just once off, it was every day consistently. Why? Because I had a phobia. Then I learned the skill. You can learn the skill. You can get better at it. You can master it. You can get really good and you can change your life. Okay. So then the final thing that I wanted to mention is exactly what I just said there. Tall, short, thin, fat, Indian, Asian, whatever it is, black, white. I'm telling you, Whatever excuse you have over here, whatever your limiting belief is, I've met guys that are short that get girls on our program, guys that are thin that get women, guys that are fat that get women. We've got plenty, Indian guys, Asian guys, white guys, black guys, from America, Australia, Europe, everywhere that are just, they join the program and they start to crush it. So I'm telling you that your limiting beliefs, these myths, they're not true. Is it easier? If you're taller compared to if you're shorter, yes, it is. But in the grand scheme of things, if you know exactly what to do, exactly what to say, if you have the skill set, you can be short and still get enough results. Are you, do you have to compete with someone that's taller than you? No, you don't have to compete. It's not a competition. Are you going to increase your chances of drastically getting better results? A hundred percent. And those results will be fine. Whether you thin fat, again, we're not looking at extremes. If you're obese and you look physically unhealthy, okay, yes, that's going to impact your results. We're not talking about that 2% or that 1%. Okay, we're talking about a normal guy. It's a little bit overweight. He's a little bit thin, whatever it is. Again, the guy that's too thin, is he going to get the same level of results as the, as the guy that's in perfect shape? If they both have game, if they both have skills, of course the guy that looks better will get a little bit better results. Yes, but... Not enough that it even makes a difference because both guys will get results. Indian, Asian, whatever it is, it's not about comparing or competing with someone else. If you have the skill set, if you understand what you're doing, if you have the competency, you will increase your chances drastically of getting the results that you want and improving your dating life. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, bro. Don't let these myths get to you. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment, drop a like, 
Okay, that always motivates me to keep creating content and subscribe to the channel. Okay, the more subscribers I get, the more motivated I am to put out new content. I'll catch you in the next video.